the three drills that you'll actually go back and redo just with this focus. Uh, and then we'll also talk about one resource you can go to. So the drill that you'll do here is this. You'll do a standing corkscrew, and we're using Train 2.0 member, longtime Train 2.0 member, Lance here. Uh, and what you're going to see Lance do, and what you're going to see me coach Lance to do, is just stand in a corkscrew. Okay, So just stand super wide and let those heels dig in. So my first bit of coaching to him is get your weight to your heels. So you can see just slightly how his weight shifts back to his heels. So you can see right there, little tilt right there that has that weight back on his heels. Now his next bit of coaching is getting his knees forward. So that was his next bit of coaching. So your first step is get your weight to your heels, then get your knees forward. Now the coaching is get your weight, uh, get your knees back again. And then now it's knees forward with your weight on your toes. So what I'm actually asking him to do here is I'm actually asking him to get his shin angle and get his knees forward and his weight on his toes. Now I'm asking him to have his shin angle forward with his weight on his heels. So that is the steps that you're going to go through. And I know this is, this is exactly what I said. It's like you can't see it, right? So the progression is knees or weight to your heels, then shin angle, then shin angle and weight on your toes, then shin angle and weight on your heels. So this is a compare and contrast exercise designed to have you feel what it's like to have both uh, aggressive shin angle, uh, have just shin angle with weight on your toes and just heel pressure. So when you combine, you know, all both of them, shin angle with heel pressure, when you combine the two, that's when you get to that aggressive heel pressure that you see with a Barzell here, like in this situation. What you're seeing from Barzell here is aggressive shin angle and aggressive heel pressure. So we see that there. You also see this here. We see how aggressively he has shin angle while he has heel pressure. So we see that ju that's just on a cross, but you can see how aggressively he has that heel pressure plus shin angle. And that is that uh, aggressive heel pressure that you're looking for. The last thing that uh, you'll do is you'll go check out the guy known as Knees Over Toes Guys. Had lots of members recommend him uh, and his resources and his exercise. Um, and this is an off ice way for you, it's a non-train 2.0 way, um, but it's a train 2.0 approved way to get uh, more shin angle in that off ice capacity. So having both more freedom and mobility and flexibility uh, for your knees over toes. So there's an off ice resource for you to check out to develop your aggressive heel pressure. So. Uh, your main goals for this week is to do the standing corkscrew calf spring auxiliary. So weight to your heels, add shin angle, purposely move the weight to your toes, and then keep the shin angle and purposely move the weight to your heels, as we saw Lance do. Then the corkscrew, focused on shin angle plus heel pressure, punch step and punch to infinity with heel pressure and shin angle. And to enhance that, you can use this... Uh, anti knees over toes guy, the, the, the knees over toes guy and check out his resources because he does a really good job on that. So 